Hi there, I am a distributor for Chaffee, and um, recently Chaffee asked us um, if we would be interested in answering a few questions on video, and I said, well, sure, I would. Why do I love Chaffee so much? I like that it fits my lifestyle, and what I mean by that is um, I don't drink coffee, and I don't like the way caffeine makes me feel. I don't feel good being all jittery and shaky, and I can't sleep, and... So I really don't like those things about caffeine anyway, but um, so set aside from not drinking coffee, I do like to drink hot chocolate. And before I found Chaffee, um, my husband and I especially, we would drink hot chocolate a lot. And I always felt kind of guilty drinking hot chocolate because I, I'm a fairly healthy person and um, there was no benefit to drinking it. There was no health benefit, there was only negative things, I would read the package and I would look at all the words I can't pronounce and wonder where the cocoa is in the hot chocolate. So when I found Chaffee, I was super excited because um, I love the fact that it is so healthy and when I drink it, I'm doing something good for my body and that's probably the biggest selling point for me. That was the big, biggest selling point originally for it. Um, the first time I tried it, I, it wasn't my favorite drink. I thought, oh, it's pretty good, it's decent, it's not you know, as sweet as hot chocolate and not quite as good that way, but you know, I wanted to like it and I wanted to really enjoy it. And I tell you, probably after three times I was, I couldn't stand the taste of hot chocolate again, because it tasted so fake and so artificially sweetened and stuff like that, that I really, really liked the, um, the flavor of Chaffee. I like that it's just 100% cacao bean. I've read many times and heard many things about the cocoa bean over the years and just how healthy it is and dark chocolate and how what a benefit it can be. Not too long ago, sorry about that, the founder of Chaffee was here in Florida with us. We had a training and he came down and was actually here talking to us. And I was asking, why did you create Chaffee? And why did you come up with the idea and stuff like that? And he said that, he was expressing what an active person he is, and he's always been into sports and um, was really looking for um, a recovery drink. And I mean, that really caught my interest. I teach a body sculpt class, and I do exercising almost every day of the week. And um, so when I heard that he actually created Chaffee as a recovery drink for the sports and athletic, that really hit home for me. And so I thought, this fits my lifestyle. This is attractive to me, it makes sense why I love it, it makes me feel good. Not only do I feel good, it's something that I know is benefiting me when I drink it. So that is why I love chocolate so much. And I also love, I always have to do this because I do love it. I love to open the bag. Oh, I love the smell of it. It smells so good, so chocolatey. So I love the smell of it too. It just, it's just yummy. When I brew it, I love the smell of it. Open the bag, I love the smell of it. It's for Dr. Oz. This is going to be backwards, but Chaffee on his show two times. And what he said is that Chaffee is his number three way of burning fat faster. Again, <clears throat> as a healthy person, someone who is trying to stay fit and stay in shape, I loved hearing that. So this is his quote. Chaffee has a natural stimulant in it that will boost your metabolism. Chaffee also has an enzyme in it that works as a fat blocker. It helps block the fat from absorbing in your system. You know, I mean, why would I not love that? So another reason I love Chaffee is I've been experimenting with recipes and trying different things. And I make this cake. Here's the recipe. You won't be able to see it, but maybe maybe you can put it online. I call it the famous Chaffee cake because I've started taking it to all my events and serving it to people um, when I go to, like, not health fairs, but we have this um, green market that we go to. And I've started serving it when I sell chaffee there and give out samples and stuff, and people rave over it. And basically, it's it was originally the recipe that I found had called for one cup of brewed coffee. But as you know, I don't drink coffee, so I switched that out and I did one cup of brewed chaffee. And it is the most delicious cake. It has a cup of buttermilk and all these other little secret ingredients, but it's easy to make now. I always have the stuff on hand um, so I can make that, but... And I even finally printed up these cards so because people request the recipe so often. So I love that chaffee can be used in recipes. I like that I can reuse the grounds. So once I brew my um, chaffee, I use those grounds. I brew them twice. So I use them, I reuse them, and then the grounds are just the cocoa bean. They're super healthy. They're packed with antioxidants. And so I put them in smoothies. I put them in 
my banana bread. I put them in cookies. I put them in everything. And um, I love that because I don't want to waste. I don't want to waste. And if I can't use the grounds up, I go throw it in my garden. And so I just feel all over happy that I am utilizing, using that. Why did I become a distributor? Basically, I'm a very thrifty person. And when I first heard about Chaffee, I thought, there is no way. It's going to be way too much money. I'm not going to be able to afford it. I'm not going to be able to, you know, if I really start to like this stuff, you know, I'm not going to be shoveling all this money into it. But I was happily surprised at the price. It is $15 per bag. And here's what I mean by this is like a 12 ounce bag. So this is um, the regular size. It's got 24 servings and $15. Not too shabby. They have bigger sizes where you can save money and stuff. But I became a distributor because it just made sense. Pretty much everybody I talked to about it were interested in trying it, and it was a very easy sell. It seemed like a natural thing to do, and the person I was most excited about oh, was my husband. So he, almost immediately when he tried it for the first time, I was a little skeptical because, you know, it's that dark, bitter chocolate. It's just the cocoa bean, so I was a little bit nervous because I really, really liked it, and I wanted him to like it, and I wanted him to support you know, this business venture that I wanted to start on. So... When I had him try it, uh, there was no reason for me to be nervous because he lived in Argentina for a few years. And um, when he was there, they drank this cocoa bean. They made the drink, and it wasn't called choppy, but it was something very similar. And they used the cocoa bean. They made these drinks, and it was so similar to him that he immediately he was like going home. He loved it so much. So he was an easy sell and absolutely loved it. Drinks it every night. I have goals with choppy. And right now I'm a, um, a manager. It's exciting. I sometimes it's intimidating to set new goals because, you know, how hard do you want to work? What if you fail? All this kind of stuff. But one of my favorite goals that I did was actually for last month, and I had kind of gotten a slump, and um, I decided, you know what? I had actually stocked up on choppy a whole bunch. I had a lot of choppy on my hands at the time, and I think that I had, maybe I felt pressured or something like that because I just couldn't seem to sell a bag of choppy. And um, but I decided that anyone could sell one bag of choppy, right? And I, so I said, well, how about if I sell one bag of choppy per day for one month? You know, just one bag per day, one month, that would equal 31 bags I would have gone. And I decided that I was going to do that no matter what. I was going to sell one bag per day. So, you know, really, basically, that just required me to work my business. That required me to make a phone call or two. That required me to um, pick up the phone, to talk to people, to invite people to try choppy, to call back customers that had tried choppy before. So I tell you, it was so exciting. I was so, um, it was fun because I was so excited every time I got to um, call my upline, my sponsor. I sold another bag of choppy. This time it was a five pound bag, or this time it was a two pound bag, or I sold a press with that. And every day, two more bags. If I got behind, you know, a day or two, I had an event, and then I'd sell six bags, and I'd catch up, and I'd surpass my goal. So in the end, I sold exactly 31 bags. Choppy's good because one of the things they do is they um, support our us as distributors by giving us weekly challenges. So they're called um, choppy challenges and they push us a little bit to do personal goals and goals for our business. They help us get to know the company. They help us get to know, you know, what's going on and how, how to sell and stuff. So I really, really like the challenges. They, choppy is a great business for A, anyone who likes chocolate. B, anybody who is striving for good health, wants a healthy, alter healthy alternative to coffee, um, who gets excited about that kind of stuff, who is motivating, it's a driving force, um, anybody who wants to make some extra income, anybody who wants to share something that they believe in. It's a great company, and so I'm just excited about it, and I think Choppy is a great product, and I cannot wait for you to try it. Choppy! Mm -hmm. Delicious. So, go brew yourself a cup.